what up what up you guys this is part two um if you didn't catch part one you have to catch part one man that's where all the meat and potatoes are at part one you'll see that one come up at the end of this video so wait for that video that was part one that's the video i did yesterday okay um that was the beginning of this one this is part two and now that the file is up okay we were talking about in part one on how to capture leads on on, on social media specifically paid advertising specifically Facebook or Instagram advertising. You have to catch part one um, for this to even make sense. But here's, here's part two, you guys. So um, now that we have the file up, now I have that URL. Now I could take this URL and I could put it anywhere. And I'm gonna show you where the anywhere is um, on how you want to do it for sure. Don't just start sharing that long ass link. Like don't do that. But um, this is just the full blown Amazon uh, link, right? I don't, I, right here, Amazon, this, this right here, this is where the majority of PDFs are being downloaded from now, um, this cloud server. So um, this is our PDF, man. We now have it hosted on Kartra, okay? So people will provide a, what, what I'm gonna show you how to do is I'm gonna show you how we could put a simple button on a page or a simple link in an email. And so again, when someone comes to your opt-in page and they opt in for whatever you're giving them, right? Hopefully it's a free download of a digital file, a PDF, or it could be a video of, again, catch part one. I talk about it all in that one. But um, um, this is it right here. So this is what we're giving up. That's where it sits. And even, and, and so in Kartra, let me show you, let me X this out. In Kartra, it'll start accumulating all of the downloads. So right here, I just, in fact, I just downloaded that one right now. Let's see if I can refresh this and let's see if that even says number one yet. Might take a little long, but yeah, it might take a few minutes, but that right there will turn into one because I just, I just downloaded the link. I just copied and pasted it, right? So um, now here's what we're going to do. So here's what you want to do, man. Again, they come to a page. Let me go back. They're freaking inquiring about your property, right? You got a listing for sale. Um, and you're taking to a page like this where they're simply opting in, right, to get that information or you're taking them to some type of, of, of free download, you're giving them something for free. In this case, it's a real estate agent, they're giving a buyer guide, right? That's what that whole file is, is a PDF, giving them a bunch of tips. But now that we have the link, here's where I'm gonna put it. Here's two places where I can put it. Um, I could have put it on the thank you page. So when I come over here, or when a person comes over here, they click the blue one, name, email, send me your 10 tips. They're taken to a thank you page. In fact, let me just show you. They're taken to a thank you page. I could put that link. I could have easily put a button on this page right here. Thank you for downloading. Look what this one says. Thank you for downloading my 10 tips. This is my thank you page, man. I'm not playing with you guys. This is the thank you page. Now, this is a spot where I have, where, where you would want to put your, your video. So right here. Hey, guys, this is David. Thank you so much for inquiring um, or thank you so much for, for, for opting in and getting a free download of my 10 tips to increase the value of your property before selling it. I just wanted to personally introduce myself and let you know a little bit about my background and what I bring to the table as far as helping our local community get the best price for their, for their property when they do decide to sell. I'd love to talk to you. Um, in fact, I just emailed you. You guys, I can freestyle this, man. This is the stuff I know like the back of my hand. On, I, can, I can twist that for any business. It's simple. Like This is just a simple video that you can shoot on your cell phone. And, and in the video, you're telling them, hey, click the orange button. I'd love to chat with you. It will take you straight to my calendar where you can book your, 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 your best time. And um, I can't wait to speak to you. Have a great day. Like that could be a video that you had on your thank you page after they just downloaded. This is someone that lives 30 miles away from you, right? So I could even either have that. It could be a video and say, hey, guys, click the orange button below. That will allow you to download. So I could, I, could, I could put that link right here. So this is on the thank you page. The reason why I don't put it right here is because anyone can then share this link and people can just download because it's a full-blown open download link. It's a download button, right? So I don't want people to download it if they didn't go through the first page. I need the email, right? I, I, I need their lead. I need, a, I need to capture any, everyone's lead, right? So don't share this page, right? Um, so that's why I don't, that's why I don't put the link on the thank you page where I put the link is in the email. So for example, when they opt in, right, let's go to my pages. When they opt in, 
they're um, they're opting into let's just say this page right here. They're opting in, opting in, and then right away they're on an email list. Okay, so that's that's going to be this list right here. Um, in fact, you know what? Let me opt in. Let me opt in to. Actually, you know what? I still have to connect it. I'm not. I'm not there just yet. These ones are already pre-built from the from my from my account. But this is how it would be. That person is automatically on that list, right? And then they're automatically in this email sequence. Now I could put that email right here. I can come into the email sequence. This is my my handful of emails that are already pre-written, ready to go out, and I can set that time on whenever they go out. So through the sequence, I can have that initial email go out instantly or and in that email is going to be a link for the download or i could have put that first initial email i could have put it in the form so for example the form when they come to the page every page has a form okay so you got the page you got the landing page and then you got the form the form is this right here so in this form, I can ask for phone number, I can ask for address, I can ask for a Facebook page, like I can ask for whatever. But on any page that you're opting into, majority of the time, it's just name and email. Um, that's all you need from people. And that's all people are willing to give, especially when they don't even know you yet. You're running ads to a cold traffic or you're running ads and you're retargeting a warm market. They still don't know you. They're not your customer yet. They may, may have never opted into anything you, you've ever done yet. So right now, don't try to, you know, Again, you're dating. Like I mentioned in the first video, date me first and then throw me in the back seat. You know what I mean? Like right here, it's the same. Don't ask for too much information up front. They don't know you yet. Name, email is all you need, right? So right when that happens, boom, that person, this form. So again, this right here is created in, in, in the form. So I could easily put that link for that download over here as well because I can tell the system, okay, or I could tell the form, to send that welcome email, to send that e that first initial email, send it right away, and it, and and this welcome in the form, the welcome email would do that. Now I can either opt to have it to have it sent, or I can opt to have it um, to have it not sent. So right here, do not send a welcome message. Now I'm going to change this to send because the 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 welcome email is the initial email that goes out. So as I come over here, okay. Um, I want to make sure that this is her email. This right here, you don't want it to be um, a Gmail or a Yahoo. This reply to and send from, it's coming from, now in this case, it's her Karcher email. I'm going to switch that out with their email, but um, I'll put that there for now. And then just hit save. And then over here is where I write the initial email. Hey, John, and I, I can use their first name right here. So I can use her first name. I can go, I can go, hey, John, here's your free download. Here's your download. And then I can just write out the email. Thank you. And then I can hyperlink this. What I can do, here's a, a couple ways. I can hyperlink this and simply put that link. So for example, let me open up that again. So I just come to my memberships. I hit uh, files right here at the top. Click on files, and then I can come over here and copy that file. I can even edit and call this something different, right? But I I don't need to. I can even delete it if I need to, right? So this is just where all your files, all your free downloads. When people go somewhere and they need to download a PDF, you can email it to them through through the system, right? Um, and 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 that. PDF would be instantly emailed to them all through the system. So here's the link right here. I could just copy that and then right here, I can easily hyperlink it. So I can easily hyperlink it right there. And now when this email goes out, they're going to be able to download it. So here's your download. Thank you. Um, you know what? Let me do this. I could do this way. I can go. I can go click here to download. I could do it this way, right? And what I would normally do is I would bold this, bold it, and then hyperlink it. Okay, so that's one way I can do it. I can easily do it that way. And um, let's send a test. 
and let's send it to this is an email that I don't use so but let's just test it to test it okay so that is what you always want to do also man you always want to test it open it up click on the link make sure you download it right so right here hey test here's your download so boom i can click on that click here to download and it opens up the pdf you guys that's how you capture leads on facebook that's how you capture leads on social media that's how you capture leads of people in your local backyard by running facebook ads Instagram ads, or even a freaking YouTube ad, but I would recommend starting with one, right? Start with one first, master one platform first, and then move on. Facebook, Instagram, it's the same same um, um, strategy pretty much. It's, it's just different sizes, different size image, different size video, um, but it's all ran through your ads manager, same way you're setting up Facebook ads. So that person gets that email, man. That's one form I could have, what could I, I could have done. I could have hyperlinked it. And then what I can also do is I can even get fancy with it if I want and I can go advanced and then I can go design templates and I can start doing my own stuff. Like if I open this up, I can just drag over and I can just start building just like I would a page. I can do the same thing for an email. So I can just drop it down. It says right there, drop your block. So I'll drop my block right there and then I can just start building whatever the heck I want, man. And then I can come to images. I could put an image in there. I could put a button in there. Um, let me see if I, I don't think I have any images on my computer, but let me just see. I could drop an image right there. I hit this edit. I can link it to the actual download, right? So it can be, an, it could be an image of the download. Um, let's see if I, oh, I have this image, but I don't keep anything on my computer, you guys, FYI, FYI. So, um, I could easily put an image right there. Bam, how legit does that look, man? Right, but that in this case, it'd be, a, it'd be a picture of your PDF. It'd be a picture of your download. It'd be a picture of your coupon. You know, whatever you're giving away, that digital download, that PDF, you know, obviously. And then, and then the link, the link is right there. Bam, the link is right there. So I click out. Now, I, that's what I did. I, could, I can add an image or I can add a button Let's see, uh, let's, let's scroll down. And then I can add this button right here. And this is where I can put that link. So watch this. And what you wanna do also is you wanna install this plugin right here. This is your color pick eyedropper. You could just go to Google and type that in color pick eyedropper. Okay, that's what you want for sure, for sure, for sure color pick eyedropper and install that that's going to sit right here in the top right and that's it, this right here so whenever i'm on a page right so you're going to click on this one make sure it's the google one and it just brings you to the to the actual chrome web store but it's free it's free and just install it install that one okay so because here's the deal as you start to build these pages you want to keep everything color coordinated you want to freaking keep everything looking looking legit you know same color pick your color you know this dark blue is what i like um so i'll try to put that color i'll get the color pick eyedropper i'll hover over the color and then i'll grab that code right there and then i'll bring it over here and i'll paste it right there bam and then i can go click here to download now click here to download now and then i can send a test and let's check this one let's send this send and then boom let's look for that one bam and there is my email dude there is my email. So I scroll down, scroll down, boom. There's the image. Man, that image looks pretty damn legit, right? I'm just joking. And then, dude, look, right here. Click here to download now.
They click that button. They can do it from their cell phone. They can do it from a computer and boom. You guys, this is someone, I'm telling you, man, this is someone that lives in your local area and you're now capturing leads. Can you imagine having hundreds of these people on a list? Can you imagine having thousands of people on a list that all came through a Facebook ad, inquired on what you were doing, you offered something of value for free, and now you're able to email that list up and coming offers that can go on forever. Like until they unsubscribe, obviously, right? But the bait, the bait is your, your free download. That was the bait, okay? That was the bait. And so this is how I do it, man. This is how I do it. This is an email um, that's going to go out with the welcome email. So I'm going to hit save. And so that's a welcome email. That, is a, that, that email is separate from this over here. From, um, from, it's separate from the sequence. So if we go back to the actual sequence, okay, right when they opt in, they're on the list and then they're a part of the email sequence. This email sequence, let's open this up. This is my automated emails that are going to go out, but the welcome email is what goes out instantly. That's what goes out first. Now, again, I can either choose to make it go out instantly or I can turn it off. It was turned off a second ago, right? So I turned it on and I want it to go out. I'll build the first welcome email. I'll put the link for the download in the welcome email. And then my sequence, I'll start that where I have to now, you know, think of a few emails to put together. And that's what I want to do over here. So in the sequence, this right here, day one, day two, day three, day four. So this is a handful of emails that are already designed to go out. Now this right here is I'm going to not have go out immediately because the welcome email is going out immediately, right? So I'm going to hit save and next. They're subscribed to a specific list. I can even assign a tag. I can subscribe to a sequence from here. So I could subscribe them to that sequence from there. But what I do is I put, I don't do it there. I end up doing it over here. Um, through the actual sequence itself. And that right there will be the starting rule. So the starting rule is what I'm saying, hey, anyone who lands on that form, whoever fills out that form, make sure they're on this, this sequence. Okay, make sure they get these emails. So I, I set it up there in the starting rule rather than in the welcome um, or in the form setup, I should say. So here, this one is triggered to go out immediately, which I need to change. I don't want this one going out immediately right because i have the welcome message going out immediately so i'm going to wait one day on this one and then just hit edit okay what the hell is going on Let's, well, that right there should have, it should update to one day later. And then this one, and then this one's one day, one day after as well. So those can all stay the same, but this is, this is for sure. I don't know if it's my connection or what, dude, but my internet's being a little whack right now. Right after previous step, let's go one. Yeah, something's wrong with my internet, but that's all it was, man. That's all it was. I'll either put that email in the sequence right here, or I'll put it in the welcome. And that's what I do, you guys. So that's how to capture leads, man. That's what you got to be doing. You're, you're, you're giving away something of value, okay, um, in return of someone's information, man. And, and all you're going to do is nurture that email list. It's the email autoresponder. You got to be keeping, you got to stay top of mind with these people that are coming in through the top of the funnel, okay? But again, the whole purpose of this entire two-part series, again, if you didn't catch part one, wait till the end, you'll see it pop up. But it's all about how do we get it, the attention of our local area, and it all starts with the Facebook ad, running that targeted ad and giving away something of value. And I'm hosting the entire, entire shebang all on Kartra, from the hosting of the PDF to the landing pages to the email autoresponder to the form to the calendar 
because there's going to be a link in these emails, in these follow-up emails that I'm going to preset to go out automatically. In these emails, there'll be call to actions that get people to schedule the call. So if you're in the type of business, if you're in the client services business and you need to get people on the phone, that's what that's all about. Get people to schedule appointments. Imagine waking up every day and you have a full calendar of a bunch of people that scheduled an appointment while you were sleeping. That's what this is all about, man, is automating the entire thing, getting the attention of your local market and capturing leads. That's what this entire thing was all about. So hopefully that made sense, you guys. I use Kartra to host it all. Um, so there's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Put all this to the test, man. Keep me posted. Once you set up your account, reach out to me. I'll literally give you my time for free. I'll help you get off to a fast start and just make sure that you're super successful and plugged in with the entire thing. All right. So see you guys on the next video over now.